my name is Kyle, and I am going to be making a video on the integral of secant cubed, uh, not secant cubed, secant, just secant to the one power. Uh, as some of you know, I have made a, uh, made a video on how to integrate this function, secant cubed, but uh, if you integrate this function, there comes a term where you have to uh, evaluate, so if you try and integrate this, you eventually get to a point where you need to integrate secant of x, just a single secant of x, and I didn't really uh, demonstrate how to do that. I just kind of stated the result and people were like, wait, how do you know how to integrate secant? So I will show you how to integrate secant now because that's actually a pretty, I wouldn't say super common integral you have to integrate, but it's it's one where it's kind of a cool trick and uh, we can go over how to do that right here. So anyways, let me just use black ink here. So let's just integrate secant of x dx. Okay, so now, how do you integrate this function? There's actually a couple of ways that you could integrate this function. I will show you the one that I remember, and in the future we can probably go through the other method too, but for now, what we're going to do is that we're going to multiply secant of x by a clever form of 1. And what's that clever form? Well, we're going to multiply it by this secant of x plus tangent of x divided by secant of x plus tangent of x. And there's still a dx here. Okay, now you're probably wondering how on earth does this possibly help me because it looks more complicated. But let's just distribute the terms and see what we get, right? So if we continue the integration, we get secant squared of x. We distribute the secant to both of these terms, right? Like that. So we have secant squared of x plus secant of x tangent of x, and then we have the denominator just secant of x plus tangent of x and dx. Okay, so now you're wondering to yourself, how is this any simpler? Well, let's focus on the denominator here, right? Focus on this denominator. And let's recall that the derivative of secant of x that's just equal to secant of x tangent of x. Okay, and now if we remember the derivative of tangent of x, that is just secant squared of x. And notice in the numerator, so if we look back at the numerator here, the derivative of secant of x, remember, uh, is secant times tangent. The derivative is right there of that function. And the derivative of tangent, right, is secant squared. So notice that the, the numerator is simply just the derivative of the denominator. Wow, right, isn't that kind of interesting? So what we can do here is we can use a clever u substitution because we said that the, let's just say the, the numerator, right, the numerator is the derivative of the denominator, of the denominator. And if that's the case, what we can do is let's just call the uh, the, the denominator, let's say let, let u equal secant of x plus tangent of x, right? So we're saying u is a function of x which is equal to secant x plus tangent of x. If we say, or if we, sorry, if we would find the derivative du dx, that should just equal secant x uh, tangent x plus secant squared of x, which is just the numerator. So if we just rearrange this, we'll say du. Well, actually, I'll just I'll just erase this, right? So if we just erase this dx, multiply both sides by dx here, dx, dx. We'll find that du is just equal to the numerator times dx. Great. So now what we can say is that we can convert this integral, we can convert that original integral into a function that looks like this. The integral of one divided by u times du. Okay, so remember u is a secant x tangent x, right? So let me just draw some more colors here. So secant x tangent x at the top, that corresponds to u. And remember that the du, right, this du right here, 
is just the numerator on top, right? So if we go back up to here, we can see the connection. So with those two pieces of information, we have this integral, 1 over u du. Now remember, 1 over u du, uh, that just equals the natural log of u plus a constant. But remember, we will just substitute the definition of u back into there. And so we can say that the integral of secant x at the end of the day is equal to the natural log of secant of x plus tangent of x plus c. And that is how you integrate the uh, function secant. Thank you very much.